The question I've been asked uh, over and over during the, really the past year is, is now that uh, President Bush uh, has left office, what, Now that George Bush has left the office of the presidency, Lewis, what are you going to do? <laughs> and I've said uh, every time, I guess I just won't be funny anymore. <laughs> I certainly uh, miss him. He did make my life easy. Basically, I would just come out in any city, read what he said that day, <laughs> and go on my merry way. <laughs> it's amazing. What, what kind of a fucking stupid question is that? Like somehow, because George Bush left office, stupidity fled the country. When it comes to idiots, uh, our country's like whack-a-mole. You get rid of one and three more will pop up. They're asking me this question, and meanwhile, the new president picked the secretary of the treasury who didn't do his taxes. What am I going to do? I do think there are two important lessons that can be learned from his presidency. First, um, if you find yourself in a voting booth and you're looking at two names and you're thinking to yourself, gee, I'd really like to hang out with this guy. Boy, would he be fun to drink with. <laughs> you vote for the other person. And if you're gonna vote for someone because you think they're gonna be fun to drink with, you be fucking sure they're still drinking. <laughs> now, secondly, uh, the, uh, I believe, and I know this is simplistic, that uh, um, the reason, uh, one of the main reasons that George Bush became the president is because uh, President Clinton got a blowjob. <laughs> and this upset a lot of people who didn't get one. <laughs> and, and so, the Christian right was motivated to find a candidate who they felt was religious and spiritual and had a great faith in God. If you're gonna vote for somebody because you think they have a great faith in God, you be really sure that God has faith in them. <laughs> it's a two-way street.